Every recruiting class is molded for a purpose, but you never know how a class will finish its run or the legacy it will leave behind. The 2014 class had a mission. It wasn't just to win games or be competitive. No, they came in with a purpose, to win championships, to dominate, and to change the identity of USF football. And they have succeeded in that. Three straight winning seasons brought three consecutive bowl games. They set school records for most wins in a season, at one point winning 12 in a row. This high scoring class also set new FBS records with 30 or more points in 24 straight games. It was a class that set nearly every individual and team record. Game time, what? Game time, prom time, what? This is a huge statement season. It begins tonight. Flowers taking a shot, catch made! Matthew Ray Day. It's caught. That's Tyree McCants. He's going to go for that end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown, Flowers. The Bulls started the season undefeated in three non-conference games. They opened conference play against Temple with a sour taste in their mouths left over from a rare loss to the Owls a year ago. And quarterback Quentin Flowers would be lethal from the ground, scoring two touchdowns while passing Marlon Mack for most rushing touchdowns in school history. Revenge was sweet. The winning streak continued they improved to 4 and 0. The streak continued against the likes of ECU, Cincinnati. Moore wasn't looking and he's going to be sacked way back at the 24 in Tulane. A long run for a touchdown. And then they faced a tough Houston team at home. The Cougars grabbed a late pass in the final moments of the game and USF fell for the first time. But these Bulls were not going to let that ruin their hopes for an historic season. They immediately bounced back the following week with a win over UConn. Marquez Valdez Scantling shined as he tied the school record for the longest reception, taking it 95 yards to the house. Can they catch him? No, they cannot. Ernest Johnson became USF's all-time receptions leader among running backs with his 69th career catch. The records and wins would not stop there. Senior night against Tulsa had the Bulls ready to run again. Senior linebacker Augie Sanchez became the program's all-time leading tackler with his 378th career stop. Senior kicker Emilio Nadelman set a new record with his 20th field goal of the season. The win over Tulsa set them up for the battle on I-4 against rival UCF. The war on I-4 was a true war. No better than this, man. The game had all the makings of an instant classic, and that's exactly what the national audience got. Tyree McCants had a first half to remember. Tyree McCants with space. UCF defender into the end zone. As he set the USF single game record with 227 receiving yards. Quinton Flowers broke his own record for total yards in a game, racking up 605 yards while becoming the Bulls all time leader in career offense. Flowers to the end zone. What a catch. Timmy Alaka, touchdown Bulls. With 11,385 yards. Has not been shy about using his feet to make it happen. Touchdown Bulls, and South Florida leads. The Bulls gave it all to win this game. Flowers has a man. It is caught. And after back and forth scoring, touchdown Bulls. UCF would get the game winner with under two minutes to play.
The perfectionist attitude of this class would have them tell you they didn't end their careers the way they wanted. But in reality, this class did it all, shattering multiple records with the opportunity still of breaking 14 more. And they will have the chance to win back-to-back -back Birmingham Bulls. No, this class did do it all, setting the tone for the program and showing everyone that these Bulls are here to stay.